All right, let's check on everything. It is live. It is live. It's alive! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darman213, and you are watching the Crossforge Gaming Pack Opening Session. It's going to be awesome. We're going to open 60 packs. I dropped the $70 because, unfortunately, I did not have the cash in time for pre-release. So, without further ado, I've got over here on my laptop, Pity Tracker. Uh, we're going to keep track of our stats and see how well we open with uh, this fantastic set. So, uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and drop them there. I'll be able to watch on both sides. Alright, the pity tracker. Yes, that's gonna be a petty. Alright, the pity tracker is open. Alright, stand back. I did manage to open... This is above average. I opened 11 packs and got Prince Keliseth. Uh, the 2-drop Prince that asks you to not have any 2-drops in your deck. Uh, I've got a cheesy idea for a token shaman in wild with that. Alright, so we have two commons. Two commons, two rares, and one epic. Dorman, why are you tracking packs? Well, I like to help the community uh, sometimes. That's a basic pack. Uh, helping the community keep track of sects also helps keep the company honest. Um, because while I like Blizzard, uh, I'm just leery of large companies in card games. Uh, I know what I'm getting when I buy a box of Vanguard. I know what I'm getting when I get a box of Magic. I'm getting three to four Mythics in a box of Magic and about four or five foils, maybe. Uh, in a box of Vanguard, I know we get at least three triple rares, maybe uh, a parallel. So having all those together is really important. I have an idea with this card, the Howl Fiend. Whenever this minion takes damage, discard a random card. So I want to play a Warlock deck using Defile and Treachery in order to use Howlfiend to discard my opponent's hand. I'm still working out the numbers on that because it, it's going to require a lot of setup uh, in order to make it efficient. So that's another basic pack. What's nice is that I have a touch screen laptop so I can literally just come over. Uh, mouse here, screen here. Another basic pack. And before I go too much further, I should probably share this.
Do 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 do. On to the next pack. Woohoo! Murabi! I'm probably not gonna play this card. Alright, so we got a legendary and three commons and a golden rare. So that's an easy 100 dust. Um, I typically will dust gold cards so that I can complete the rest of the set uh, as quickly as possible. I don't, I'm not a rarity person. Uh, I could care less about, you know, is it foil? Is it gonna look beautiful? Does it help my deck retain value? Well, yes and no. Uh, because Hearthstone decks don't retain value. They're great down the line. Uh, people will find hilarious combos, but other than that, it's, uh, you know, cards are cards. The golden animation does not, I, I already appreciate the base art, I guess, from playing actual cards, so I don't care if they animate. Uh, one deck I will be trying to build later today is the new Freeze Mage. Uh, with all this extra dust, I'm gonna be crafting Jaina, uh, and attempting to build this deck. The elementals. It's a basic pack. Alright. That's my second obsidian statue. I got one in the other pack that I received. So. Already off to a great start. Uh, I'm guaranteed to see at least one more legendary. Always finger crossed for more. Two rares. I'm excited to play this card, Dead Man's Hand. Uh, I really want to play it in Pirate Warrior for the reason that it just gives you a chance to shuffle more mortal strikes into your deck, as well as it lets you throw patches back. So uh, I, I really think that card will see some competitive play. I don't know how much. Uh, it'll probably be better in Control Warrior. Oh, wow. So we got two rares and an epic. Fantastic. Flat pack. Back. I'm not sure if this Howling Commander is going to be that great. Uh, I think you'll definitely play it in Control Paladin, at least as a one-up, so that you can ensure that you draw your Tyrion. Um, but other than that, I don't know if it'll see play. Whoa! Okay, two goldens. I like it. I like it. So we got two basic commons, one basic rare, and golden common, and a golden rare. Not bad. I always feel like I get better pack openings when I spend money, which makes sense. 
uh, that they would, you know, give you a little bit better algorithm when you pay money because the company wants to reward you for spending your money. You know, it's in their best interest. I love that I'm seeing these epics and rares together. It's awesome. This one, however, I don't think we'll see any play. Uh, I just, I don't like this card. Um, maybe in some crazy Jade Druid deck? I don't know. I, I do not like this card at all. Uh, it's a great arena card. You'll see a lot of play in arena. I would say draft Druid almost every time now. Uh, but I do not. Ugh. Do not like that card. Another basic pack. Sunborn Valkyrie. I think this is a really fun card that will give a lot of new players uh, a chance in the ladder. Uh, being able to play this uh, alongside the Divine Shield deck, uh, I think you're going to see a lot of uh, Paladins in the lower rankings of the ladder uh, just because the add plus two health. You can give plus four health for one extra mana. Uh, and that's. You compare that with the Cabal Song Stealer which gives uh, plus three health to one minion. So I, I really like this card. Ice Fishing will definitely make um, Quest Shaman a little bit easier to play, just because I've seen that deck run out of steam way too many times. Ice fishing in the same place in the pack. Yeah, man. Man. Two rares and an epic. Mi Death rattle. Summon a minion from your deck with less attack than this minion. Cheat out validated doomsayer? Ma question mark? I don't know. I don't this card's okay, I guess. Uh, it's not fantastic, but if nothing else, it's easy dust. Uh, you might use it to cheat out a Cho or something. I don't know, what would you even do with this? It's interesting design space. I, I'm just lost on how to use it. Uh, so we got two commons. Another rare and another epic. Basic pack. Alright, so we are just over halfway through with our packs. I'm not going to open this one all the way yet. Just to give you an idea as to what I've gotten out of 30 packs so far, uh, after my initial 10 from gold and the quests. Uh, so, so far, 
I have after 30, 31 packs, uh, 115 commons, 37 rares, 7 epics, and 1 legendary, uh, which by the by the whole is uh, not it's pretty on average uh, from what I'm seeing from all all data. Uh, it's slightly slightly above average with more rares per pack. Um, and then I've got four golden cards, which puts me at about the same with uh, other players. Uh, as far as what they've been opening, so wonderful statistics, delicious information. La, 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 la. And we just get better. Card games are crack. Don't get your don't get your kids into card games. Uh, it's a drug unto itself. I'm excited to play this card, this Corpse Widow. Death Rattle cards cost you less? Yes, please, give me a four mana high main. Mm. Play that on turn nine? Delicious. Eternal Servitude looks like it's going to be a great card. Uh, discover a friendly minion that died this game. So you can use this to bring back death rattles in uh, important death rattles. You can get uh, Sludge Belchers in Wild, or you can catch Tortola and Shell Razors for the same value. Um, and just being able to discover a friendly minion gives you the options of flexibility as opposed to random from Onyx Bishop. I think you would still play Onyx Bishop, however. Uh, I'm not saying that card replaces it by any means. Golden Rare! Oh my god! Rattling Rascal! I'm gonna play this with Treachery on Warlock. It's gonna be great. Holy cow. Uh, that or use Pandas to just pick it up, put them back down. I don't know. I'm still theory crafting around this card, Gnome Feratu, and uh, Treachery, just because they're so great. Alright, so it's uh, two rares. One epic. Still bound to see at least one legendary uh, in the upcoming packs. God, why does it keep giving me this awful card? I hate it. It's terrible. I'll take the 100 dust, but it's going right into my uh, my mage deck. I cannot stand this card. So my guaranteed legendary is in the next three packs. 
Awesome. Oh, there it is. Thrall Death Seer. Transform your minions into the random one that costs two more. I'll take it. One legendary, no rares. Alright, fingers crossed. Yeah, guaranteed next legendary, 40 bucks. Woo, lad! Feels good. Let's see if we can open anything more broken. Golden Common. Sweet. I will take golden cards any day of the week. Again, they're just... The golden commons are the most value, quote-unquote, just because you get 50 dust from them, as opposed to 100. They're just the ratio from crafting the basic level versus the enhanced level. Not bad rares either. Add a mirror image to your hand. Uh, cast a zero if your opponent was healed, or if your hero was healed this turn. The Happy Ghoul is going to make for an interesting Zoo Priest, I think. I I'm excited to see what people do with this card. Uh, you could also play it in Paladin pretty easily uh, using your Silver Heart, True Silver. There's just a lot of healing in Paladin um, that you can play. No, I'm Fratu! That's my first... Ah, oh, I shouldn't have crafted both of them earlier. Oh well. It's fine. I see only rare above card. It's fine. It's 100 dust. I didn't break anything down that was terribly important just to make those cards, so... A golden rare! Bless. I've never done stat tracking before, but I'm really enjoying watching the numbers change over here with the general statistics of how often you're going to see a legendary. And again, it also helps keep the company honest. You know, they can say that the given rates are about these numbers uh, based on their number generator, but they, they have those fail safes in there to ensure that people don't fall to the worst luck in the world and don't see a legendary for 100 packs, you know? So the, you know, having that pity timer is awesome. Being able to watch your packs, uh, if you're a free-to-play player, pitytracker.com is what I'm using. You can log in, make a free account. Uh, they have a little donation button, so uh, if you're interested, you can give them a little something. I'll be putting the description down below. Uh, I'm sure there's an auto counter somewhere, but I don't know. Getting hands on with the data is fun too. Seven packs left. Come on, let's see Jaina. I already have Uther from the. Uh, from the quest, or the story. Professor Putrus! <laughs> After you play a secret, put a random hunter secret onto the battlefield. Death trap. Is that my phone going off? Hold on, one second. This is the time that a Darman usually wakes up. Holy wow. Okay. So we got two commons. 
Uh, golden rare and the legendary. Alright, so we're doing slightly better than uh, most people on average. Can we get even more busted? Will we see another legendary? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z! I love having this touch screen computer, it makes everything easier. Ew! Here's another pack filler card. Slight nerf to any of the discover spells. Put one of each secret from your deck onto the battlefield. For eight mana, like you would have to play a fully loaded secret deck and then do nothing else. Just, I don't like this card. Maybe it will see play. I don't think it will. Okay, mostly because we had Mysterious Challenger and Paladin, which was the Dr. Six. He was the best. Uh, if you weren't playing Secret Paladin, what were you doing? Glacial Mysteries doesn't give you a body. It doesn't have any survivability. It just gives you Ice Block, Ice Shield... Mirror Entity, Counterspell, which all of those cards by themselves, I don't know, you won't survive till turn 8 usually to get to play all those secrets. If so, you already have one secret in play and you're only putting four secrets onto the battlefield max. And you're already cheating the Mountain Secret Mage with uh, Kieran Tor Mage and the Cabal. So, I don't like that card. Alright, last pack. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in the heart of the cards. And it's a rare. That's fine. Alright, so. On our pity tracker, we have... Total breakdown after 60 packs. Again, I opened the 11 packs before that I did not track. Don't worry about those. So for my card data, um, I opened 218 commons, 72 rares, 12 epics, and three legendaries this session uh, with three golden commons and five golden rares. No golden anything else. Um, so yeah, that was uh, not a terrible pack opening. Uh, Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. If you guys want to watch this video, uh, I'm going to leave it up for a week, and then we're going to be putting it behind our Patreon wall. If you would like to view this video later on, please subscribe to our Patreon and uh, get access to all of our extra content, including the original Gamers Cast uh, and all of our podcasts in the future. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good day. I did make my mill lock. Uh, so many good things, actually. I didn't even see you guys were hiding in the chat. Hello. Uh, actually, I do. Let's go ahead and go into my collection. Uh, I do. This is my running list for the mill lock, um, and I'm still tweaking it. So the theory: useful brewmaster, gnome Feratu, and ancient brewmaster, uh, which also synergizes some of the other cards. You can pick up ravenous pterodax. If it's dying, um, and you can refresh it essentially. You also play Unwilling Sacrifice for Delsar Eggs. I'm only running one Defile right now. Uh, I'm actually going to change that up though, right here. Because uh, Shadow Flame is great with the Abyssal Enforcer, obviously, but Siphon Soul is going to add for Defile. I did not open any Treacheries which 
makes me cry, actually. So that means I have to craft them. So first of all, look at that. Beautiful. Blah, 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 blah. 1500 extra dust. Feels good. BE FREE! That was unsatisfying, to say the least. Um... So let's, uh, dust this. I almost have enough for that extra legendary. But, I'm just gonna turn around and... We're gonna make our treacheries here. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to use this card, because there's a lot of things that you can give your opponent. You can give your opponent a Doomsayer, it'll blow up their board on uh, turn 5. If you're playing Handlock, Treachery is going to be your best friend. Um, but there's so many so many cards that you could play. Um, like, I really want to play more of this Despicable Dreadlord, but I know I need to play another Blood Worm. I might take out a Possessed Villager or a Void... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a Voidwalker out for the other Worm. Because the lifesteal is too important. Lifesteal is just too good. So. Uh, I'll be running this deck later on. Maybe tonight. I might stream more tonight. So, again. Peace. I got stuff to do before the day ends. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you around.